Today we are hiking Stratton Mountain in the town of Stratton, Vermont via the Appalachian Trail, which here coincides with the Long Trail. Which for those of you who don't know, the Long Trail is a 240-250 mile hiking trail approximately that runs the entire uh, length of Vermont from Massachusetts to uh, Quebec. Stratton is 3,940 feet high and that's probably why, that's one of the reasons probably why, the trail is not broken out. So this is going to be interesting mainly for that reason. And other than that, I heard that there's awesome views from the fire tower on top. 3.4 miles to the top. I'm allowing all day to do this. So let's do it. This is not going to be an easy one. If I make it to the top, I'll truly earn this. Look how bad the trail breaking is. I get to go at a pace so slow that I've never gone it before. And luckily I have flashlights. Hopefully I don't need to use them. Man, the going sure is tough on this. I mean, look. Breaking to like about a foot of fresh powder. Oh well. That's what makes it a challenge. Plus, if any other people hike Stratton via this route, in the next couple days, they'll be thankful. Overall, I'm sure. Even though we're moving kind of slow, the pace is pretty decent because I'm not making that many stops. Doubt I'll beat both time. Be awesome if I can meet it or beat it. But I'm hoping I don't have to hike down in darkness. All right, we've reached the tricky frozen water crossing. It's closing that pond over there. The reason it's tricky is because I don't think it's fully frozen or ice bridged. So, I've got to find the narrowest path, narrowest uh, crossing path. I tried to go over there, but I felt like an ice break underneath me. So, uh, I'm going to do my thing and then I'll meet you across. That crossing was not easy. I had to jump as far as I could, even with these on. Needless to say, probably one of the more tricky water crossings I've ever done. Anyway, up we right, go. We have the first real notable grade on this trail. Oh, looks like we're finally starting to climb the mountain proper. Anyway, I need to take a breather. After I've done that, I'll meet you farther off. This is some tough going. Still unbroken. And I'm still sinking, but like I said before, that's what makes it a challenge. And like I also said, if I make it to the top, I'll have earned this thing 100%. Not a bad experience for my first time hiking in the Green Mountain National Forest, I have to say though. I thought I heard snowmobiles. No, I was right. We've come to a snowmobile trail, which looks like a gated uh, and not maintained uh, forest service road. That's just grim for snow, snow machines. AT and LT goes that way. So that's the way we're gonna go. Now I'll cut too far up this trail. This ain't easy. I'm actually thinking about turning back. Cause look how deep uh, the snowshoe goes. Oh, when I walk it's a lot deeper than that. Take a look at what I just walked through. Easily one to two feet deep. Well, we're back at the trailhead and I actually did turn back. The reason, after that snowmobile uh, trail crossing I showed you in the uh, later part of this video, the trail the snow on the trail is just way too deep for me to break alone. One to two feet in most places. I just couldn't do it. Plus, once I uh, pass that snow wheel trail, my pace like halved. If that kept stopping every five minutes or five feet, whatever. Just couldn't do it. Yeah, I know I'm a wimp, but I'm a smart wimp. So, I don't know the distance I travel, but I know I did up to 2,900 feet approximately. Plus, I still had a thousand feet of gain before I even reached the summit, so I was like, nah, no way am I 
ever going to be able to do this. At least, at least in a, with my current level of training. So, anyway, I guess I'll see you on my next adventure. In fact, I don't know if I'm even going to post this video on YouTube, but if I do, I'll see you.